The new timeline feature in LTX Studio gives you full creative control over the pacing and structure of your videos. You can access the timeline from the storyboard workspace. It's laid out to follow the traditional flow of production, starting with storyboarding and pre-production, where you define the structure of your project. From there, you move into the motion editor to bring your shots to life, and finally into post-production, where everything is assembled into a cohesive sequence. Before entering the timeline, make sure the shots you want to edit have motion applied, unless you prefer to keep some as still images. Within the timeline workspace, your content is organized into smart bins according to other editing platforms. On the left-hand side, you can view all the assets from your storyboard or filter by videos and still frames. You can even view all the assets from your media library by selecting all. This includes assets from other projects. By default, shots appear in the same sequence as your storyboard. You can choose to link or unlink the timeline so changes made here are reflected in your storyboard and vice versa giving you flexibility to make adjustments from either workspace. Trimming clips is simple. Select a clip and drag the start or end points. To create a cut, use the cut tool with the clip selected. Make sure your playhead is positioned where you want the cut to be. To create a new track, drag a clip upward. If a shot isn't working, return to the motion editor, make some adjustments, and then update it in the timeline. You can either update individual clips or use the update all option to refresh everything all at once. Once the structure of your sequence is in place, you can begin adding sound. Click the audio tab to browse our music library or upload your own tracks. When you've chosen a soundtrack, position the playhead at the beginning of the sequence and insert the track. To layer multiple soundtracks, simply create a new audio track by dragging downward. To add voiceover, click the voiceover tab and enter your dialogue. Then select a voice from our library of voice actors. In a land where time and magic still roam. We support multiple languages and we're constantly expanding the selection. Once you're satisfied, insert the audio clip. If you need to make changes, you can delete the clip or just undo your last action. Next, add sound design by heading back to the audio tab and selecting sound effects. You can upload custom audio files or choose from our sound library. If you're using Auto SFX, your clips may already have sound embedded. If not, you can return to the motion editor, add auto SFX, and then update the clip in a timeline. To adjust your audio mix, select a clip and use the volume slider to set the desired level. When your edit is complete, it's time to upscale your clips for final delivery. We recommend working with low resolution versions while editing. These act similar to proxy files, improving performance and saving you compute time. Once you're happy with the flow of your sequence, head back to the motion editor to upscale the final shots. You can then preview your full edit in full screen. In a land where time and magic still roam, a young girl follows a trail only she can see. Wow! Through whispering trees and glowing skies, her adventure begins to the place where magic meets adventure, Waterfall. In cinemas, July 8th. To export, select Share and choose between exporting as an H.264 MP4 or downloading as an XML file for further editing in another software. You can also invite collaborators to join your project and work together on the final cut. The timeline feature is built to give you fluid, precise control over every part of your video.